and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says ABCD is a trapezium with AB parallel to DC. A line parallel to AC intersects AB at X and BC at Y. Prove that area of ADX is equal to area of ACY. Let's start make a figure to understand this question. ABCD is a trapezium with AB parallel to DC. A line parallel to AC. Let's now draw a line parallel to AC. Intersects AB at X and BC at Y. Right. We have to prove that area of ADX. Let's now join DX. is equal to area of ACY. Let's now join AY. We will also join CX. Let's now write down the given information. Now it is given to us that ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to DC and XY is parallel to AC because it is given that a line parallel to AC intersects AB at X and BC at Y so line XY is parallel to AC. Now in construction we have joined CX. Let's now begin the proof. Now consider triangle ACY and triangle ACX. Since triangle ACY and triangle ACX are on the same base, AC and between the same parallels XY and AC therefore area of triangle ACY is equal to area of triangle ACX by theorem 9.2 given in your book which states that two triangles on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. Let's name this equation as equation number 1. In the question, we are given that AB is parallel to DC. Now, as AB is parallel to DC, so this means part of AB, that is AX, will also be parallel to DC. Right? So, AB parallel to DC implies AX is parallel to DC. Now consider triangle ADX and triangle ACX. Now since triangle ACX and 
triangle ADX are on the same base AX and between the same parallels AX and DC therefore area of triangle ACX is equal to area of triangle ADX by theorem 9.2 given in your book which says that two triangles on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. Let's name this equation as equation number 1, sorry, as 2. From 1, we have area of ACX is equal to area of ACY. From 2, we have area of ACX is equal to area of ADX. So, from 1 and 2, we can conclude that area of ACY is equal to area of ADX. Hence, we have proved that area of ACY is equal to area of ADX. This completes the session. Bye and take care.